Hi, my name is Junshin Ikin. Um, I teach high school um, Studio Art 1, Studio Art 2, and the AP Studio Art uh, Drawing um, Visual Art teacher. Uh, and my spirit animal, which, well, my favorite animal is the elephant. Favorite Korean word? Teba. One thing you will miss about Korea? Food. One thing you won't miss about Korea? Traffic jam. Favorite genre of music? Jazz. In a movie about your life, which celebrity would play you? And uh, Angelica Jolie? <laughs> Tomb Raider. Pet peeve? Oh, barking. What kind of a student were you in high school? Oh, I was excellent uh, student. <laughs> Van Gogh or Picasso? Picasso. Design or studio art? Studio art. 3D or 2D? Um, 2D. After leaving SIS, what's your next adventure? Well, I'm going back to Australia where my home is and basically I'm going to retire. And I do a lot of gardening and I do my own art. Yeah. Mm, what will you miss most about SIS? Oh, definitely student. Mm, I had a very good pause with the student and um, I will really miss them. How has SIS changed you, if at all? Well, you see, I left Korea more than 30 years ago and coming back to working in SIS uh, you know, basically uh, reconfirmed my identity, if I may say, or reconnected with, the, in a way, my um, younger days. How do you describe yourself in three words and why? Well, I'm passionate, focused, and hardworking. Um, I always lived with that kind of personality, and uh, also I thrive in my class. Um, I'm like, you know, that's how, who I am. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your life motto? Um, my mother-in-law taught me a lot, living in Australia in a way, and uh, my, when I was growing up, my father was a really a role model. If you were to leave one last message or words of encouragement to the students of SIS, what would it be? Mm. Well, they have a lot of, a lot of good qualities um, and um, I just they, they need to know they are the one of the chosen one and they are privileged one and I hope that in the future they always remember that what they have, they are privileged to use for others, mm -hmm. unprivileged one, a privileged one and uh, for others. Basically.